In this video, we are going to be testing out a new AI tool. This tool excels in image and video generation. They support a vast range of the most cutting edge video and image generation models out there, like Flux, Kling, Wan, and a whole lot more. They also support a trending feature called AI Video to Video. This means you can upload a video of anything and it will turn it into an animated video. This tool is one of the best at that and they support a wide range of animation styles to choose from. Before we dive in, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this. Okay guys, so today the AI tool we're gonna be talking about is called Go Enhance AI. Don't worry, the link will be in the description, but you can search for Go Enhance on your web browser and it'll lead you straight to it. So this is their famous video to anime feature displayed in the home screen. It's perfect for creators and easy to use, used by over 1.5 million creators across these platforms, which is really cool. This is the most popular feature, video to animation, in which you can upload a video and it'll convert it to different styles of animation. Next up, we have video face swap, which is nice. We scroll down, get your AI image generator, which is also a really useful feature that we're gonna test out. They support a lot of AI image models too, which is cool. And if we scroll down, we have AI Video Generator, and they also support a lot of the best AI video generators out there, from Kling AI to WAN2. They even support Google VO2 and Runway2, so that's nice. Scroll down, there's another feature they have, Character Animation. Here you can upload an image and a video of yourself to be converted to the image, a really nice feature too. Then they have a lip sync feature. They also have a cool feature, which is enhance and upscale image. This helps you upscale your images and enhance them up to 4K. So they have a 4K image upscale, which is really cool. These are their video tools and their image tools and the video models they support. So let's get to it. If you click on try go enhance for free, you should be presented with this interface. Let's test out the image tool. Under the image tools, they have some of these, but we're gonna use the AI image generator, so you should be presented with this interface. First of all, for the prompts, let's try something like this. You can add an image reference, but we're not using that for now. For the models, they have a lot of models like Flux, Ideogram, Recraft, SDXL, and SD models. Let's just use this Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra. Then for the aspect ratio, we'll leave it at 16 by 9. And for the seed, since we're not going to use it to generate any more images, let's just leave it off. No negative prompts. This is private mode. It says here that it basically keeps your generated images from appearing in the community explore page. Let's just click generate and see how it cooks. In no time at all, it is done. Wow, they really tried with the realism. It looks really, really nice. The quality looks nice, stayed true to the prompt, and it looks realistic. Over here, we have some minor editing features. It looks really nice. We can go here to download, regenerate, send to AI video, or expand. You can basically expand the image and it will work on that. It's done. It's basically the same thing, but just a bit bigger. Let's use the same prompt, but try another model, like let's say Flux 1.1 Pro and click on generate. It is done in just minutes. And boy, oh boy, this looks amazing. It did a really good job. Let's just generate one more image, change the prompt a bit. Let's try this. Use this model, Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra. We'll leave it at 16 by 9. Leave this off. Let's click on generate and see how it cooks. This is what it's cooked. Well, this is really nice, but I want a more realistic looking image. So I'll just go here and change up the prompts a little bit, try to regenerate it, and let's see what it cooks. And it has cooked, and wow, this is a whole lot better. This is nice. We'll just go ahead and download that. Now let's go test out their video tools. So go back home and go to video tools. Under the video tools, they have a lot of video tools. But let's test out the AI video generator. If you click on it, you should be presented with this. Now you can either use image to video or text to video, but we're gonna try the image to video first. So first of all, you just upload an image. We have this image. Now to see how it fully understands the image, we don't put in any prompts. For the model, as you can see here, they have their own in-house model. They support 1.2.1 and a whole lot of amazing models. Let's just leave it at normal for now and click on generate. Oh, apparently we have to fill in the prompt. So let's just say something like, and just click on generate. And it is done. Let's see what it's cooked for us. That is just nice. It's really, really nice. 
This is using their own Go Enhance Video Gen model, so let's try with Kling and see how it does. Let me modify the prompt a little bit. We can use the 1.6 or 1.5 version, and this can go up to 10 seconds. So yeah, let's just hit generate, and it is done. Let's see what it cooked. And wow, boy oh boy, this is perfect. This is just perfect. No morphing, and it understood the prompt really really well. Now let's move on to the text to video. So let's put in a prompt like this. And for the model, we can select Kling. Live it at 1.6 and 5 seconds duration, and click generate. So it's done, and let's see what it cooked. And wow, it's really amazing. Very realistic and stayed true to the prompt, and it just looks beautiful. Now let's test out what you all have been waiting for, which is their most famous feature for your AI influencers, which is the AI video to video. Now for this, we can easily drop in a video. We have this video here, then we can choose the anime styles we want it to look like. Let's try the GPT anime style for the prompts. We can leave it empty. The video duration can go up to 60 seconds, which is really, really nice, but we'll leave it at five seconds. In the render mode, we can choose quality for subject only because we want the whole image to be transformed. We won't choose subject only. Let's just click on generate and see what it cooks. It is done. And let's see what it has cooked. As expected, it did amazing. I mean, it would be insane if it didn't do amazing because this is one of the most popular features. This looks really nice. This looks really, really nice. And yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this.